What's up everybody? Rob Ferretti and I just bought a new car. And we're in it right now in a car wash. It was too ugly and, and dirty to actually film with. I'm like, let's get this washed. And then just says, Jimbo, what if things fall off while we go through the wash? That would be bad. So uh, we'll cross our fingers and we'll see what comes out the other side. Hey everybody, Rob Ferretti here and I just bought a new car. It's a Mercedes Benz, which Jimbo likes to call a Merc. It's not a Merc, nobody, like, Merc is not short for anything. To say a shorter term for this would be a Benz or a Mercedes. You have one, that that is referring to this car. A Merc is stupid. Nobody's like, I have a Merc. It's short for Mercedes Benz. It doesn't work like that. But I just bought it. Uh, this was a 2005 E320 4Matic. And this car was a thousand bucks. 1100 bucks. Uh, new, it was 51,000 MSRP base plus plus. So you're talking a $60,000 car that I bought for a thousand bucks. It's not bad, right? Let me show you why it was a thousand dollars. My friend Gina owned it. Uh, she did bull run with me back in the day and not with me, but like in the same group of people. Uh, she hit something on the front here and the insurance company totaled out the car. And I'm like, well, that car's perfectly fine. Like I like, and she's like, they gave her a check for, let's just say six or 7,000 bucks. And I'm like, well, ask them how much they want to buy it back. And she's like, they want 1100 bucks. I'm like, I'll give you the $1,100 and I'll buy you dinner. And now I have a Mercedes for 1100 bucks and dinner. And this, albeit doesn't look so bad, you can see why they totaled it out because just labor aside needs a new bumper cover needs a new grill and then it needs a hood. Now Jimbo was just like, yo, why don't you just throw a new grill on it and be cheap? He can't do that because where it's pressed in, the grill won't fit. So now you'll either have So now you'll either have it without a grill altogether, which would look like that. Which isn't that nice. That's a one taker, right? You can't do that again. So that's what it looks like without a grill. It looks a little shitty. But uh but what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to try to do a better version because it's four wheel drive. I'm going to try to do a better version of my snowplow from last year. So now this one has a roof so I can stay warm. It's got heated seats. It's got all wheel drive. And I think since I don't care about any of this, I can legitimately mount a snowplow to this and uh, reinforce it to the point that I don't punch through the radiator. And I should be able to plow some shit. Mr. Plow over here is going to take care of some stuff. This emblem was actually on the car, but when they're in insurance lots and everything like that, everyone from an insurance lot's like, yeah, I know what to do. They take the fucking emblems off. And they did that with every like Lambo or Ferrari we've ever had that's been in an accident that was in the tow yard that we get back. We're like, who fucking ripped the emblem off? That's just what they do. And even like the Lambos and Ferraris, they bolt them on behind the fender. So they have to go in and unscrew it to remove the fender, to remove the, uh, the emblems. So quick look at the car. Uh, obviously now that the grill is gone, we do have a little bit better airflow in the front. I'm just saying that it doesn't have better airflow. Jimbo, get in the car. I'll show you what's in it. I'm just going to point out it's like nine degrees outside right now. Like these heated seats are well worth it. Now the car itself, I'll leave that there because the sun is up. The car itself is 153,000 miles. So it's no spring chicken, but it's an in incredibly good condition. Uh, everything I believe works. The, the seats work power mirrors work it's got electric windows and that's all like standard stuff from mercedes it's got the sunroof up here electric sunroof which i'm sure works the sos button which i don't really want to push because i don't need to talk to anyone lights work is that really lights? i don't know what the hell that does uh, it's real lights i don't know what this one does but uh oh that's probably lights when you open the doors or something all the ac controls work Radio works. One of the problems, though, is this car does not have... Uh, it's got a CD player, but the CD player is not ejecting, so I get the Buddhist monk meditation music, which is now what the car will always have if I ever want to push a CD button. Um, it's got the rear screen, which should work. Jimbo, sending it. Look in the back. Oh, yeah. So that works. Got heated seats on both sides. Uh, those work. 
it's got the good old fashioned, oh, there's a free stamp in there. It's got the old fashioned like shifter shifter, which is nice. You're used to now like little twinky sticks or rolly things. And, and it's nice to just throw the old drive park. So it's sort of an authentic car. But remember, this was $1,000. I bought a Mercedes Benz for $1,000 that isn't 30 years old and, and like rusted out. This is a perfectly acceptable car in all respects and all regards. I mean, it's a good buy even at five or six thousand um, dollars. But it's got navigation, it's got satellite radio, it's got telephone, but I don't think it has Bluetooth. It says when I push telephone, because I wanted to connect it to my Bluetooth, it dropped one of those like phone not installed. Which way am I going here? All right, well, both those directions made it get louder. I'm going to have to solve that. But I don't think it has Bluetooth. This is old school. It's got everything else, though. And again, let me reinforce the fact. It was a 1000 bucks, like, for a Mercedes. Like, look at the interior. It's got leather seats. Like, this is a nice... I could Uber with this thing. It's a nice car. And here's the... Uh, this is the send it button. You push that. It turns off traction control. Uh, what else we got? Lock, unlock. Let's check out the back. Oh, what is that? What, what did we just do here? What? CD changer too, huh? Well, that was pretty... I wasn't expecting that. I'll be honest with you. Bring it. I don't think there's anything in that slot. All right. Well, that was that's worth a thousand bucks by itself. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got in here. See the trunk? Uh, I know there's no dead bodies in it, but I'll show you anyway. This thing is one of the things that annoys me. This is not as flexible as it should be. So uh, that's one minor annoyance. Uh, this right here, 158.625, it's at 153. That means it's actually serviced. So this is somebody with an actual, it's a one owner car. I'll, I'll say that again. It's a one owner car that's been serviced and it's in good condition. It's been kept in good condition and it was only a thousand bucks. Let me pop the trunk here, I'll show you in the back. It's got the Harman Kardon sound system, which is an option, I'm sure. Plenty of room in the trunk. It's nice. Plenty of room in the trunk. It's got this uh, 12 volt here, which is probably for a tire inflator or something along those lines. I don't know what it comes with. No, no spare tire. There was a spare tire at one point in time. But, like, you can't ask for much. Medical kit. These are good. First aid kit. Probably stale and old, but better than nothing. An old normal trunk instead of just pushing the button. Now, I don't know if I would spend the money paint correcting this, but uh, it's got this for if you want to put these up, the window shades. I mean, this is not stuff you get in a $1,000 car. Look at the cars we buy for the $1,000 and $500 car challenges. They're absolute pieces of shit. This, I would give it to my kid. Like, I would, this, is not a, uh, this is not a bad car at all. And I think I'm going to drive this. The snowplow thing sort of gets in the way of that. Is it, do I want to like use it for a snowplow or do I want to drive it? I think I want to use it for a snowplow. You're going to find out soon enough. But, and, and I was going to pop the hood to show you what's under the hood. My only fear is that the hood won't latch properly and then I'll, then I'll sort of be stuck here. But uh, once we start mounting the plow and figure out where we're going to mount the plow, which is this crash bar right here, I think this, I mean, if it, if it supported smashing into a truck, It'll support my snowplow, and that'll be solid. We could just drill right through that. Miata had a pretty weak one, so we had to formulate one, and then ended up caving into the uh, the compressor. But let me clean up my mess. Let me throw this in the trunk, and we can get out of here. And I will see you next time. And the next time you see me with this car, we will be prepping for plow and installing plow and I would you know what let's we'll take it for a quick spin on the way out we're gonna we're gonna end with this because it's freezing outside right now I want you guys to see just how nice this is it drives really nice I picked this up in Queens last night and we had an adventure drives dinner 
in Manhattan. So Gina ended up coming to dinner with us. That that satisfied the dinner portion of it. So I paid for the car, bought the dinner, and we're straight up. We're good. And now I just have a car that I have to uh, register. It's already on my insurance because that's easy. And we'll be good to go. But this thing, it handles nice. It doesn't squeak. It doesn't make any weird noises. It does, I noticed driving it back last night, have a vibration over 60 miles an hour. But it gets out. $1,000. Let me remind you, I spent $1,000 on this car. That's pretty awesome. It's a $1,000 Mercedes that isn't 25 years old and rusted out with, uh, with engine trouble. That by itself uh, is a statement that I had. It's probably the best buy I've ever had. And it's not like, well, it's great. You're like I've made more money like buying, driving, and selling my GT3 than I w- could possibly think of making off of this car, even after I fix it. And just say, instead of the, the quote of 5000 to fix the bumper, figure I can get it fixed with eBay parts and... Um, and some paint and whatnot, even if I could find a pre-painted, because black Mercedes is pretty standard, black or silver. If I find the parts and just bolt them on, I could be out the door at 2,500 bucks. There's still, there's a couple of bucks to be made, sell it for four, sell it for 4,500, whatever. Um, But it's not, it's not really worth the exercise unless you have an abundance of free time, which this guy does. Speaking of an abundance of free time, Go pick up that snow plow, and I will see you next time in a shop putting it on. Thank you for watching. See you in a bit. Also something you wouldn't expect on a thousand dollar Mercedes. No check engine lights and a valid New York State inspection. So that's very impressive. That means it's passed all its inspections and it's got no check engine lights. Doesn't make any weird noises. It drives well except for the vibration which is just wheels and tires which in the New York area is perfectly normal uh, and in a readily uh, an easy fix, so to speak. It would be it just the tires or maybe bent wheels and tires uh, or even just the wheel balance. It could all be very cheaply remedied. And then you have a smooth driving car, which gets 19 miles per gallon in the city and 25 on the highway, which even by today's standards is not bad. That's pretty funny that, uh, that we haven't gone much past that. And as with anything, I could just dump regular gas in this car as opposed to these new thirsty cars that like, oh, I need premium on lead in this thing. Regular gas, $1,000. If the engine detonates in grenades, which I don't think it would, still only a G.